Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Today I want to show you Microsoft Teams. So in this beginner's tutorial, I'm going to break it into five parts. I want to show you how you access Microsoft Teams, where do you go to find it, how do you set up Microsoft Teams, how, what is the workspace, and how do you go ahead about creating that workspace for your team, how do you share notes and apps and draw, uh, files inside of it, how do you chat one-to-one -one or even in a group setting because you can change it back and forth, and how you can do your online collaboration with things like video chat. And the great thing with Microsoft Teams, this is the utmost, uh, their importance is security and privacy within it. So let's get started today on Microsoft Teams on Teachers Tech. First of all, where do you find Microsoft Teams? Well, I'm going to be showing in the demo today from a couple different places from an education account. So if you're part of a school that uses Microsoft, you might have access to it there. And from a business, I also have it in my Office 365 business account. So they mainly work the same way. There's a few slight differences. If you don't have either of those, I'll put the link to this page here and you can see where you can sign up for free if you don't have a Microsoft account. But that being said, let's go ahead and I'm going to get logged into my Microsoft uh, Teams account to show you where to access it. I'm going to log in first online to show you the online version, but mainly I'm going to be working off the desktop app. Now to access your Microsoft Teams online, there's a number of different ways you can do this. I could hit sign in from this because I already have an account. I could go in up into the URL and just type teams.microsoft.com. It's going to take me there. But even if I go to my Office account, Microsoft Office 365 account, it will be one of the uh, icons I can hit from there. So I have many different ways. I'm just going to hit sign in here and I'm already signed into my Microsoft Teams here uh, and I just want to show you that this is the online version here. Uh, when the first time you log in you might get something to uh, say to download the app and that's what I already have it installed on my computer but even if you get to this point here and you want to download it you can see there's a few different places to do this if I go up to here and click we can download the desktop app here and down at the very bottom uh, we also have a download here so uh, you can download it I would recommend working off your computer I just find it's more robust that way and the other thing is I do check uh, on the online app if I'm on somebody computer and if it doesn't have it I can quickly log into this and check all the conversations the files and everything here I just wanted to show make sure you realize that you could access this fully online but from this point on I'm going to be showing you from my desktop app so I'm on my desktop app here I'm using Windows 10 but if you have Mac you can download this and install I have the app right here open now first of all I'm just gonna start with by creating a team inside of it, a brand new team because everything is working around that aspect of the collaboration space and I'm just gonna show you how to create that if we took a look at the take a look on the left hand side here and just go down you can see the different options from activity activity would show uh, everything what's happening inside of it chat where you can do one-on-one -on -one chat uh, to different participants in the organization and we have teams right here so make sure if you're creating uh, where we're going to create teams this is where we're going to see all the teams and we have hidden teams here uh, you can see where we can put one in this is a default to this account now I'm going to go ahead and hit join or create a team right here uh, if I hit this little uh, the manage teams if I click this you notice that all the teams come up here also and I get this create a team so I'm just going to go ahead and create a team I'm going to build it from scratch and I'm going to just make it private for now and I'm just going to call this demo one uh, demo one in this example you can write some information there to give it a description I'm just going to go ahead and hit create on this and so I've created a team now after teams created probably the next step that you'd want to do uh, is add people or maybe you want to create channels now you can see uh, I can add members right here but you don't have to do this at this point yet you can skip it I'll show you how to add these later also but you could add the uh, the names right in here the emails and they would pop up and you can add them to this team I'm going to skip this you can see we have demo one here now demo one is the team name underneath this you create channels now channels are like subjects different subjects 
inside the team. And right here, I can create more channels. I could click on this. If you notice, it, click these, these little more options here. Uh, you can manage the team from here. You can add the channel from here also. You could add your members. So if you need to go back and add members here, you can do this here. If you're part of a team, uh, you wanna leave it, just go ahead and click, edit the team, get the link to the team. So you could send that link for someone to join or manage the tags of this or delete this one. So make sure you know those ones. And plus you can hide this so it doesn't show if you get a lot of different teams you might want to be hiding them. So if I go ahead and create a channel, so uh, we just go ahead and hit create. We go and call that channel. So maybe you'd be looking at, is it finance, marketing, or if it's in the school setting, is it a different subject like math or, or uh, depending on how you break things down. Uh, again, give it a description, privacy through here. Is it standard, private? I'm just gonna leave it standard and I'm gonna add it. And you're gonna see now inside this team, I have a channel. And so the, the math channel here is a subject inside the team. So it makes it really nice to break down all these different things. If you have people working on different projects and they can go to ex that exact space to uh, find the files and really stay organized and communicate within each other. But I'm just gonna log over, uh, go over to my school account and do the same thing and show you a couple of different options that you'll get. So I'm just in a different account now in an education account and you might have these options and I'm just going to go ahead and hit join and create and create team from here. So when I create a team from here, notice I have a few different options. Do I want to create a class? Do I want to create a PLC as something for staff administration or uh, professional development or you is it a club or organization? So it allows you to create all these different teams kind of with the premise of education in mind. Uh, I'll just go ahead and create a class. I'll just call this, I'm going to call this computers and this is where you'd put your info in and next now again you could invite the students in right away here by putting search for students as the, if they're part of the organization you could pull them in or you could skip them and add them later at this point you can see it's keep walk it's walking you through this you can upload your materials you know from um, any type of different type of documents you just go ahead and upload class materials and they're going to have a spot in the files for these, uh, you'll go, I'll go back to posts, but across the top, you can see there's a class notebook. We have assignments in here, grades. I'm not diving into all of these on this example. I just wanna show you where everything is in this beginner's tutorial to show you the difference between the two different accounts. Now, uh, you can see right down here is where you can start some conversations and that's where I'm gonna go next because whether you're in the business account or the education account, these type of things are gonna be the same. So I just started typing some things to show you some examples of what you can do. Some have just some plain text to them. Here I've uploaded a file and I'll show you this in a minute how to do this and I have even a GIF or I have the emojis. Now down below is where you would just start your conversation. So if I was saying hello and I'll just say every everyone. I can go ahead, when I'm done typing, I could hit my send, but I can add different things at this time too. So I could hit it just by itself and it sends it to uh, everybody inside this team. People can reply to it. You can see, even see the responses back that people can make with thumbs up or whether they like the messages. And you always have more options. And another thing, if you uh, are using Immersive Reader, this is built into this too, which is a great option with school. Now, I like the fact that you can attach these files. So if I go ahead and, and said, look at this, and I go ahead and click this little attachment, I can go from upload from my computer, I could go to Google Drive, I could go to OneDrive, I could browse the teams and channels. I'm just gonna go upload from my computer, I'm gonna grab a this PDF right here, and it's gonna upload this one, upload file, and when it's all done, I have to hit the send again. So this goes out there, they have access to this. And what's really good when you're uploading these files, if you just hit the files up here, you start to see all the different things, all the files that get uploaded in through the conversation get put into this place here so people can usually find, that, find them very quickly. And you have all these different options here. Uh, 
if I was going to go, I could create right from here a file, if I, especially using the Office Online, I could create different ones right from here. But you do see the different options from download to add cloud storage. Again, I'm not going to go into all these things in detail. I just want to show you uh, what, what is here for you. So I'm just going to go back to the post. And you can see next the attachment where we can add our emojis, we can go through and we can pick a GIF and we can send that out uh, on it and we can add stickers through here and even badges. So if we are praised, so if I go ahead and praise, I can send these to a specific student. So if I knew um, I saw something in the classroom, then I could go ahead and uh, send it to one of my students in the class on it. I could give them a note and I could preview it here and then go ahead and send it to them. So it's a, a great way uh, to kind of communicate with the class members all in this one place, share the files. And again, you're going to this one place to see everything from the messaging to the files. And you even have a meet now, which is video conferencing, which I'll get into in a moment. So for some more chat, if we look over on the left hand side, up here, I'm going to click on this chat, and I have a couple people in this uh, in this chat here. I can start a private chat with any of these. So if I clicked on a name, and then I could start typing a conversation down below, and all the different things I sent you, uh, talked about before, you can notice that they're still there, and I could send it and they it would send it to them and they could respond i can actually add more people to this conversation too so if i have uh if i'm communicating with one student notice right up top here i could go ahead and go and add another student right to here and now i have a conversation notice it went through three so i it's not a solo one i can see it right up top it's between ashton keegan and myself and I can have those and I can have files, everything. So you have these little micro groups that really work well to communicate. And inside this, you have your video call, you have your audio call, and you can even screen share inside of this. So if I go and click, you can see the different options where I can uh, screen share uh, to show them something. So it's great for these collaborative work groups or to communicate with different groups in it. So definitely take advantage of the chat in here to do the one on one or even increase the size of it with larger groups. I'm going to go back into my computers class that I created. And I'm, before I do the uh, video conference and the meet now, I just wanted to mention, and it says right here, uh, use the at symbol to uh, mention someone. So if you are mentioning somebody in the class, you can use the at symbol and then they'll get notified on that too. But it's a great way to start a conversa uh, conversation and direct it towards somebody. Uh, now, the, go the meet now. So I really like this. This is, uh, if you've used, uh, I'll just scroll down. Uh, if you've used this before, I mean, Zoom or Google Meet, this is very, very similar. I like it how it's all built into Microsoft Team. I'm gonna just give this a title. I'll call this demo. And I'm gonna hit meet now. So it's gonna open this up on a larger uh, screen here. My camera is about to start here. Okay, so the camera is going, you can see it's being recorded. So I'm going to go through and just kind of give you a rundown where everything is in here and some of the actually really good features it has. Now, uh, this is where you turn your camera on or off. This is your mute. If you don't want to be heard, just click this. This is your share your screen. And I really like this option. So if I go ahead and then just hit share screen here, you can see all the different windows that I have opened here and I can quickly share a page from um, a, a website or an application I have open and I can share it with them. Remember that was in the, also in the, um, uh, in the chat one too, where you could share your screen and do the video conferencing too. Here's an option I really like. You can upload a PowerPoint in here. So this is already uploaded inside it, but I could actually upload one too. But if I go ahead and had a, uh, a PowerPoint I wanted to show, then I could go through and uh, just arrow through and they're gonna see exactly what I see on this. So as I go through and arrow it through, this is what they're going to go through. So it makes a great way to, uh, to show that uh, to everybody at once. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and stop presenting this here and just continue on with some of the options. I'm going to go back to the share and I just wanted to point out to the whiteboard too. So we have our whiteboard uh, where you could be drawing on this one. Uh, the different pens will come up so you can pick a pen and you can draw what you would like on this one. So and then again, you can stop presenting and it goes back to here. Now there's some options, uh, more actions in here. If you want to make sure you want to change the camera or anything, you can see where you can go through and pick your speakers, your microphones, your cameras right through here and all these different settings. Uh, we have uh, meeting notes and this is a great option. Uh, you can take notes right inside your meeting uh, meetings and we have our background effects. Everybody loves the background effects. Uh, we could go through and click on them. If I want the blurry background maybe I don't want to see the people to see the room behind me click on this one I could preview it or apply I'll hit apply and you can see how it all uh, just gets blurred out or I could use the images that I want here and you have all these different ones that you can select and apply on it but a nice little feature easy to use just go through and pick what you want on it and then when you're done you can just click out of that and you can see how the background is staying there uh, so yeah, take a look at the different ones. You, what we have uh, here, we can start recording uh, our meetings too. So we just go ahead and click that and your meetings will be recorded and we have our end meeting, but it is right here too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the chat. We have our chat where we could go through and do all the exact same things from here uh, that I showed you before, uh, add our files and attachments and hit send. And we could go to our participants and we have them all right here. No one's in this one, but it will also give you the option to mute and different things uh, when they're joined in here. But I could ask them to join because they're not in at the moment. But I'm just gonna go ahead and end this hang up on this one and it brings me back. And so we have this, uh, this easy access place to video conferencing. And remember, this can all be done on mobile too. You can download the app for Microsoft Teams and they can access and do the video confer conferencing right from there. For today's tutorial, I just want to show you a couple more things and that is making sure you have your cloud storage hooked up. If I go to files, uh, you can see I can add it through here. Also add cloud storage. You can go through and put your requirements in for your logins. Uh, you can see I already have my Google Drive connected to here, which I could sign out. And the other thing is you can add apps too. So uh, if I just click here, you can see I can go to more apps or the apps down below. But even inside, if I go back into my Teams, uh, if I just go hit the plus here, I go to the same place where I could connect my favorite tabs right in here. So it gives uh, right through a tab my apps and it gives me that quick access to get to them right away. So it's definitely uh, all in one spot for uh, working to, in one area for your teams, your class, a lot of different ways you can use this. And I just touched the surface of this day in this tutorial. There's so much more you can do with this with your class notebook and your uh, management of your scheduling with your calendars. And uh, I'll go through more of that in future videos. Let me know what you're looking to learn about Microsoft Teams and I can add that uh, to my list of videos that I'm gonna make. Thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.